Hello, I am Anna Christine Ahrens, part of the Global Solution Management Team at SAP, responsible for the area of SAP Billing and Revenue Innovation Management. Within this video, I would like to share with you some important innovations in 2022. Companies are seeking for new ways how to monetize and therefore they are exploring into new business models. More flexibility is needed to pick and choose what pricing and delivery models work best for customers. Industries are transforming. Based on additional services sold together with traditional products, additional value can be provided to consumers. These bundles of products and services can be configurable and can be adapted to the personal needs of the customer. Another option is to move into subscription and usage-based scenarios, where customers do not purchase the product as such, but they pay, for example, based on a monthly subscription or based on the real usage of a product. Outcome-based business models provide entire solutions to the customer, combining equipment, services, as well as maintenance. The customer, in the end, pays based on the real outcome, for example, number of products produced with a particular machine. This provides a more flexible and reliable offering to the customer and helps to establish a more sustainable customer relationship. Companies benefit from consistent revenue streams. However, all of these changes impact existing business processes and companies need to adapt with more flexible pricing options. They require the ability to handle complex bundles with all related follow-on processes and handling of high document volumes in an efficient and automated way. SAP S4HANA Billing and Revenue Innovation Management is an end-to-end -end billing solution for recurring revenue at high transaction volumes. It covers the entire process chain, starting with product and subscription modeling, and enables customers to manage usage data, as well as pricing and charging processes. And it natively integrates high-volume billing into financial excellence powered by SAP S4HANA. Within the next few minutes, I will give you a quick update on our new features in 2022. Focus is on some highlights that will support our customers' transformation into the usage and outcome-based economy to ensure future revenue and growth. Let's start now with SAP Subscription Order Management. Subscription Order Management handles order capture, order distribution and contract management and supports the implementation of innovative business models. It enables customers to offer their solutions as a combination of products and subscriptions. This also includes consumption-based pricing models. New customers can be acquired with targeted subscription offers and the average revenue per customer increases. Any changes to existing contracts and subscriptions can be made more quickly and the customer churn rate can be reduced. As of 2022, credit checks based on SAP credit management can now also be performed for recurring subscription items during order and contract processing. This allows to better monitor credit risks throughout the entire subscription process and supports proactive credit decisions to avoid late payments and bad debts. SAP Credit Management lets companies have a cross-enterprise scorecard-based approach to rate customers. It helps to manage automatically assigned credit limits, which will reduce write-offs while increasing automation rates. Credit exposures from all related systems are considered and workflow-based processes prevent delays in the sales process due to credit blocks. An integration with external credit agencies is also possible and helps to provide a complete picture on the credit situation at a customer, combining internal as well as external data. Furthermore, additional Fiori apps are available in subscription order management for subscription contract lifecycle management, to monitor the subscription fulfillment, and to manage subscription contract changes. Let's move on with conversion mediation. The hyperscaler connectivity has already been improved in 2021 with an additional connector for the Azure Cloud Platform. As of 2022, the hyperscaler support is further extended with new connectors to Google Pub sub message queues and Google BigQuery, taking SAP Convergent Mediation's native cloud connectivity to the next level. This enables customers to integrate to the Google Cloud Platform services with a new connector, to migrate data lakes to Google Cloud Platform for analytic purposes with Google BigQuery, 
and to migrate on-premise data to their cloud environment to support hybrid solutions. In addition, new decoders and encoders will be available for the Apache Parquet format, which is common in solutions, including big data analytics. This enables customers to send pre-processed data to their big data environment for analytic purposes and to collect data from big data environments for further refinements and forwarding to target systems. Based on SAP entitlement management, any rights to use based on a specific contract can be handled. This can be any authorization that was given, any privilege, access or permission because of a business transaction or contract. With the 2011 release, entitlement management now features functionality for contact management. This includes functionality to maintain contact details and permissions for each entitlement record. Contacts can be created, updated or deleted based on APIs or based on the user interface. Furthermore, the time zone can be tracked for every entitlement record. This is important as the validity of an entitlement record is time dependent. Also, improved integration content is now available to support lock and unlock scenarios with entitlement management. This includes the integration to trigger Webu Systems code meter technology. Now, let's have a look at new payment features integrated into convergent invoicing and contract accounting. With Payment by Link, SAP is now supporting customers with a new and easy way to handle payments. A QR code can be added to the invoice created in convergent invoicing. If the end customer is using this code, it leads to a link to capture the payment online. The customer can enter individual payment details, such as credit card number or PayPal details. The payment will be captured based on the integration with SAP Digital Payments add-on. Here, the integration to different external payment service providers can be handled based on standard integration scenarios. Details on the captured payments will be submitted via a payment advice and can easily be reconciled in contract accounting. This makes the payment process much more convenient to the end customer and helps to capture payments on time and to improve day sales outstanding. Automatic payment reconciliation avoids manual activities. Furthermore, the integration into dispute management has been improved. In addition to disputes related to the accounting document, disputes can now be captured based on the convergent invoicing document, starting from the display of the invoice. Also, the navigation to an existing dispute case based on the invoice display is possible. Invoice line items and billable items can be added to an existing dispute case. This makes the dispute process more flexible and allows to capture the case for exactly the item it refers to. Dispute resolution is easier and customer satisfaction will increase. A new Fiori app is available to analyze incoming payments and to provide an overview of the automatic process for payment matching. Customers can better understand what happened to a payment and can identify what helped during the payment clarification process. Users can see how well the machine learning logic based on cash application supported the automatic process to match incoming payments. This provides transparency on the payment matching process and the machine learning approach for payment assignment. Our mission is to support customers to innovate and to support digital transformation based on new business models. SAP wants to cover core to cash processes from an end-to-end -end perspective, offering streamlined processes, enable companies to better serve their customers and to be successful in the digital cloud age. Therefore, we have also accelerated our public cloud capabilities evolving into a modular software as a service offering and leveraging platform-based services. Various use cases are already supported and can fully be realized based on public cloud functionality. These are our four key use cases, supporting customers to realize new business models according to the company strategy. First, recurring subscriptions will allow customers to consume services on a subscription basis with recurring charges. Using SAP subscription billing as a key component here, flexible subscription-based use cases can be realized. Second, pay-per-use will also include billing based on real usage and consumption of specific services. Recurring charges may apply in addition. As mentioned in the previous use case, SAP Convergent Mediation by Digital Route Cloud Edition supports streaming of high-volume usage data from multiple sources into your revenue management systems. Third, 
recurring re replenishment focuses on physical deliveries and replenishment based on a particular schedule or based on previous consumption. This helps to establish a long-term customer relationship with consistent revenue streams. And last but not least, we also support bundled offerings whenever companies sell subscriptions or pay-per-use elements as part of a holistic solution. We are talking about solution business. This might include physical elements as well as services, projects or subscriptions. Providers need to handle this bundle throughout the entire life cycle, including changes and follow-on processes for the different components. All of these use cases are fully supported based on SAP Public Cloud technology. One feature I would like to specifically mention here is the price calculation functionality as one component of SAP subscription billing. More sophisticated pricing configuration options are available now. The rate plan template in subscription billing refers to a pricing scheme. Based on this pricing scheme, SAP price calculation defines how to calculate the price per charge. Subscription pricing has been put to a next level with regards to flexibility and supported use cases. Price calculation now also offers the option to use custom attributes for pricing. For example, used as input data for lookup tables or in pricing trees. This further improves pricing flexibility and support for new business models. Another new feature planned for Q4 2022 is pricing based on individual usage records. Pricing determination rules rate usage records individually. Resulting charges can then be consolidated into one bill line item. This helps to meet market requirements and expectations to configure and calculate price models specifically for consumption-based scenarios. With SAP Convergent Mediation by Digital Route Cloud Edition, the new Usage Insights feature allows customers to visualize their usage data flowing through the system to increase the understanding from both operational and business perspective. The built-in GUI dashboard illustrates data flow with key figures and charts and provides an API allowing mediation streams to extract data for further processing of the visualized usage data. With the new data aggregator feature in conversion mediation, customers can, through configuration only, configure time-based and condition-based aggregation of usage data, perform low-code, customer-specific data correlation, advanced aggregation conditions, calculations, and data grouping in a flexible way. The Aggregator Inspector helps to visualize the aggregated data and offers a user-friendly experience with flexible sort, filter, and troubleshoot options. That's all from my side for today. I hope I could provide you some interesting insights. I wish you a nice day and I am looking forward to further discussions with you.